Oh, you didn't think we can do it again. Hey guys, I'm back and I'm here with a new makeup tutorial. Today the star of the show is going to be the Natural Matte Palette from Too Faced Cosmetics. They did send me this palette to review for you guys, so I do want to thank them before we get started. This palette is absolutely amazing. If you guys want to see how I created this look, just continue to watch. Oh girl, so fierce. Now the packaging was so adorable, I don't even want to throw this away. It has that mauve color with the gold writing and lace on it. When you turn it around, you're going to find some ingredients. Inside, it came with a little brochure with some eyeshadow guides on where to place the shadows. The packaging, once you open up the actual palette, is gorgeous as well. It's this hard shell with the same kind of colors. When you open it up, it's gold all inside, and then it has the shadows. You'll find the shades Heaven, Less is More, Sexpert, Nude Goals, Cleavage, Risky Business, Lace Teddy, All Natural, and Hookup. Three out of the two shades are two ounces, and the remainders are one ounce. I love the detailing with this little heart clasp to keep the um, palette closed. Starting off, I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape to prime my lids, and this is just going to create a base. I'm going to use the Beauty Bakery Setting Flower to set this concealer. Now with the fluffy brush, I'm taking All Natural and blending this into my crease. Basically, this is going to be my transition shade. I'm going to be taking Hookup and applying this on the outer V of my eye. Keep in mind, we are going to be doing a halo, so you are going to apply all the colors and the inside as well. Making sure you're not going any higher than the crease, but still blending that shade in, you're going to apply it near the inner tear duct area, and this is just going to help you create the halo. Be patient because the blending process is going to be real. So I'm going to take Sexpert and apply that to deepen the outer V as well as the inside. This is just going to add more depth. These eyeshadows are blending like a dream. I feel like I'm not really doing much and they're just like so creamy. The reformulation was amazing. If you guys own this palette when it originally came out, you guys know that the um, it has been reformulated. So I did take um, that deeper shade and I'm just going to deepen both areas. Now taking Heaven, I'm going to put this put this, put this in my eyebrow, uh, my brow bone just to brighten the brow bone. Now using my Master Chrome highlight, I am going to apply this in the middle and this is going to create that shimmer shade. You could use one of the matte shades, but I personally like to have the middle like bling blow, bling blow and this does it for me so make sure you're keeping that crease nice and crisp and just applying it in the middle i'm going to use that same brush without applying more product and blend it in just so i don't have any harsh lines um everything looks nice and just blend it in curl your lashes so that you can apply some liner this is the nyx matte liquid liner I love this stuff, but you do not want to do a um, wing liner because you kind of want to keep the shape of the eye a little round um, like we're trying to do. So yeah, girl. So using some Their Real Mascara by Benefit, I'm just going to coat my lashes for some falsies. I'm using Lily Lashes in the style of London. This is from the Sephora collection. I love these lashes. They are so, so gorgeous. So of course I'm using the dual lash glue. Taking Sexpert, I'm going to go in and apply that in the bottom lash line. You do want to bring it all the way into the inner tear duct and connect that with the top. Now, I'm going to use, again, that Master Chrome highlight and apply this like where I would apply the inner tear duct highlight. But you're going to bring it more towards your nose area if you can see that. So I'll coat the bottom lashes to add some more drama. I wanted to use this Melted Matte Lipstick from Too Faced, but I ended up using the Anastasia one because it was more terracotta-ish. And this is in the shade Ashton. Okay guys, so this is a final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I do want to thank Too Faced for sending me this palette to review for you guys. It was awesome. The colors blended like a dream. I love all the shades that they offer. I of course love the scent. It smells so yummy, just like all the rest of their palettes. I do have the um, chocolate bar palette and the chocolate bonbon palette. Um, they smell amazing as well. So if you guys haven't had the opportunity to try them, which I'm pretty sure you have because they're super popular, um, I definitely would try them out. I think the colors are amazing. I think they were formulated beautifully. The names are so adorable. I love and I'm living for the packaging. Like, 
I just love the lace with the mauve color and the gold. You guys know I love gold. So let me know down in the comment box below if you guys have picked this up or ended up picking this up. What kind of looks you've done with it and what do you think of it overall down in the comment box below. Like everything, like everything, like always, everything will be down in the description box below. If you guys have any questions, make sure you leave me a question in the comment box below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe and press that notification bell so you guys don't miss an upload from me. I love you guys. I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with somebody who might find it useful. I love you. Bye. I hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to check out some of my other videos. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at IamSashaFairs411 and Snapchat at SashaFairs411 so we can get connected.